Someone lend me a quarter. Anybody got a quarter handy? No, everyone's broke. <laughs> so, if you ever feel the edge of a quarter, you see it's kind of a rough edge. Do you know what those little rivets are? You know why they're there? So you can't shave off the edge of the quarter. You know where that idea came from? The British pound. The British pound was actually made of a pound of silver. So fraud artists used to shave off the, the edge of the pound, then they'd melt it down to make more pounds. And in fact, King Henry VIII would actually do this himself when he'd collect the taxes. He'd have his minters clip off just a little edge of the pound so that he could melt it down, make more money, and spend more money. He had no ability to control his spending. He had inherited the crown from his father. Remind you of anybody? Right? <laughs> but when he would clip off the end of that coin, he'd make more coins. But obviously that would increase the supply of money. And that's what politicians do when they print and create cash for their spending. They clip off the edge of your coin. It's worth less than it was before. The 25 cents of today only buys you 20 cents worth tomorrow. And that's what Justin Trudeau has been doing with the money creation he has done over the last several years. Let me give you some stats here. In 2020, there was $1.8 trillion in Canada. That's coins, bills, banknotes, and checking account deposits, 1.8 trillion. Because of all the cash that Trudeau's government created, that went up to $2.4 trillion. That's how much $600 billion of additional cash has been created in the last three years, during which time the output of the economy only grew by 4%. So let's get this straight. The economy grew by 4%, and the money supply grew by 32%, almost 10 times faster. So you have 10 times as much money chasing the, 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 the goods and services that you buy. If you have 10 loaves of bread and $10, it's a buck a loaf. You double the number of dollars to 20, but you still only have 10 loaves of bread, all of a sudden it's $2 a loaf. More money chasing the same goods equals higher prices. And King Henry VIII, when he did this, he started to get creative because people were noticing that their coins were clipped and they didn't want to take the clipped coins anymore. So what he did is he melted down the coins and he filled the inside with copper. So there'd only be a tiny little layer of silver around the outside. Then he could make more coins with the same amount of silver. The problem was he put his face on the coin. He was a narcissist. Do you, does that remind you of anyone? In fact, he was such a narcissist that he made his face look forward off the coin. He didn't even use a side angle. And his nose po poked on the front of the coin. And when it rubbed on the inside of people's pant pockets, that silver would rub off and the nose would turn copper red. So they called him Old Copper Nose. And whenever you saw his nose as red on that coin, you knew he had robbed the purchasing power of your money. So if you see Justin Trudeau with a red nose, you know exactly what it means, right? Old Copper Nose.